Welcome to the VMware Storage Minute series. Two common questions we get with vSAN encryption is, what is it and will it impact the performance? Let's find out the answer. vSAN encryption consists of two optional cluster services, vSAN data at rest encryption and vSAN data in transit encryption. These can be used independently or together to create a fully encrypted environment. Let's see what this looks like. Here we have a simple three host vSAN cluster. Each host has a disk group consisting of a caching device and multiple capacity devices. vSAN data at rest encryption will encrypt the data as it's written to the storage devices. When a VM issues a write, it's going to encrypt the data as it lands on the write buffer devices. When the data is destaged, to the capacity tier, it's going to decrypt and re-encrypt the data as it lands on the storage devices that make up the capacity tier. This ensures that no matter where the actual data is stored, it's fully encrypted. A data in transit encryption will encrypt the data in flight between the respective hosts. The data is encrypted prior to leaving any of the network uplinks on one host and then decrypted as it's received by the uplinks on another host. The end result is that we have a fully encrypted arrangement that means encryption at the storage devices that make up the capacity tier, en encryption on the storage devices that make up the caching tier, and then encryption across the network. Now, will vSAN encryption services uh, impact performance in any way? Well, it really depends as there's a number of different factors that influence that answer. My blog post called Performance uh, When Using vSAN Encryption Services gives a detailed answer to this question, uh, and that can be found out on core.vmware.com with the link provided in the notes below. Thank you very much.